Hi everyone and thank you so much for watching my channel The Beauty Turtle. So in this video we will understand single server constant service time. That is your M like this is your single server and we have a constant service time. So uh, that is known as your uh, deterministic service time. So this is what this is your deterministic service time so that's why it is written as d and we know only one server is there right so as we know already that waiting lines are a consequence of random highly variable arrival and service rates right so waiting line lamba kyun hota hai because uh, the arrival rate and the service rate these are highly variable Right. So, if a system can reduce or eliminate the variability of either uh, either one of these or both, then it can obviously reduce the waiting line. Right. Agar in dono ki wajas se hi hamara jo waiting line hai that is uh, increasing a lot, then we can do what? We can reduce the variable factor of these two factors. Right. So, a case in point is a system with constant service time. The effect of a constant service time is to cut in half the average number of customers waiting in line. So, constant service time ka kya fayda hota hai? What it does, in one line, if there are 50 customers standing or waiting, so what it does, it it cuts in half the average number of customers waiting in the line. So it makes them 25, 25. Understood? So what is the formula for that? The formula is LQ. Obviously, we know what is the meaning of LQ, average number of, number of um, uh, customers waiting in the line. LQ equals to lambda square by 2 mu. This is important. 2 mu into mu minus lambda right before starting the solution i would like you guys to know about the ca foundation mega combat which is going to be held on unacademy app on 13th of march at 12 pm where you have to solve 40 questions in 60 minutes and you can win these exciting rewards simply you need to use my coupon code anvesha10 to enter and participate in this mega combat unacademy has started the triumph batch for CMA Foundation students who are going to appear in June 2022 attempt. And this batch has started from 9th of March. And this is your chance to prepare with the top-notch educators in India. Another comprehensive batch named as Evolve has also started from 9th of March which is for CMA Intermediate Group 1 students who are going to appear in December 22 attempt. Similarly, the Evolve batch for December 22 attempt CMA Inter Group 2 students is also going to start from 10th of March 2022. You can study with the top-notch educators of India. Simply, you need to download the Unacademy Learning app, select your goal as CMA Foundation, click on Get Subscription and you are done. Trust me, these subscriptions are more than just classes. They will give you live interactive classes, recorded lectures with unlimited watch time, access to the notes. Every fourth session is a doubt solving session, updated study material with the practice mock test papers. You can get the subscriptions at Rs. 875 per month for 24 months and likewise for 12 months and 6 months. Simply you need to use my coupon code ANVESHA10 to avail a 10% discount on all these subscriptions. You can find the link for all these classes in the description box below. So don't forget to check them out. Now we will start solving illustration number 9. So um, Wanda's car wash and dry is an automatic 5 minute operation with a single boy, single bay. Okay. So there is only one bay. That means this is your number of server. So M equals to 1. Only one server is there. And uh, they are taking 5 minutes for one operation. That means your, uh, this is what, this is your uh, service time. So, 1 by mu equals to 5. Right? 
वन बाय म्यू इक्वल्स टू फाइव ऑन अ टिपिकल सैटरडे मॉर्निंग कार्स अराइव एट अ मीन रेट ऑफ एट पर आर एट अ मीन रेट ऑफ एट पर आर सो दिस इज वॉट दिस इज योर रेट ऑफ अराइवल और वी कैन सिंपली से अराइवल रेट सो दिस इज योर लामडा राइट लामडा इक्वल्स टू एट कार्स पर आर एंड वी हैव गॉट म्यू एज अगर ये वन बाई म्यू इक्वल्स टू फाइव दैट मीन्स योर म्यू विल बी वॉट वन बाय फाइव सो अगेन योर सर्विस रेट इज वॉट वन पर फाइव मिनट्स और वी कैन सिंपली टाइड इट एज ट्वेल्व पर आर राइट With arrivals tending to follow a Poisson distribution, you have to find the average number of cars in line. Average number of cars in line. That means LQ. You have to find out. Then the average time the cars spend in line and in service. That means waiting time. That is your WS, right? So let's start with the solution. so we already know the formula for lq that is what lambda square divided by 2 mu into mu minus lambda so we know the value of lambda that is 8 so it will be 8 square then we have 2 into mu the value of mu is 12 cars per hour you have to convert them into hours right so this is 2 into 12 multiplied with 12 minus 8 so you can get the answer that is your that is coming as 0.667 cars right now the average time the cars are spending in line and service so the formula for this is ws equals to wq plus 1 by mu so it will be what wq equals to lq by lambda plus like we can write uh, lq by lambda instead of wq because we know this is the formula for wq and then uh, we have to add 1 plus mu so after calculating this we can get the answer as 0.167 hours or that simply comes as 10 minutes right i hope this question is clear coming to the next question that is your illustration number 10 The question says a departmental store has one cashier. Obviously, it has one cashier. That means your M is one. Uh, your uh, number of servers is one. During the rush hours, customers arrive at a rate of twenty per hour. They arrive at a rate of twenty per hour. That means your lambda is twenty here, and the unit is hours. The average number of customers that can be handled by the cashier. Is twenty four per hour. So the cashier can handle how many customers per hour? Twenty four customers per hour. So obviously, ये directly आपको service rate यहाँ पर दे दिया है. Mu equals to twenty four customers per hour. Now assume the conditions for use of the single channel queuing model. Uh, assume that. Uh, for single channel queuing model all the conditions are satisfied so you have to find out the average time a customer spends in the system the average time a customer spends in the system that means ls and you have to also calculate ws so we know the formula for ls what was the formula for ls ls is your uh, lambda into ws and again we have another formula that is your lq plus r ls equals to lq plus r so it is not necessary that in every question the value of lq and r will be given so to make it more simplified we are deriving another formula from this particular formula that is your ls minus lq sorry ls equals to lq plus r so we know the value of lq uh, the formula for lq what is that here it is given lambda square divided by mu into mu minus lambda so we can write it as this lambda square by mu into mu mi minus lambda and we also know the the formula for r that is your lambda by mu so 
After, if you add these two, then you will find what? You will find this particular formula. That is lambda into mu. Lambda into mu divided by mu into mu minus lambda. So, here if you look at this, so we can see that there is lambda in the numerator and also in the denominator. So, we can simply cancel these two out, right? So, the final formula will be what? The final formula will be Ls equals to lambda divided by mu minus lambda. Simply put the values and you will get the answer as 5 customers, right? Now, the next question is average time a customer spends in the system equals to Ws equals to Ls by lambda. This is the standard formula that we have been using since the first question. So, this will be what? 5 by 20. That is your 0 0.25 hours or simply 15 minutes. I hope these two questions are clear for you in the next class we will uh, solve illustration number 11 and also illustration number 12 if you find this video helpful then please hit the like button subscribe to my channel and also don't uh, forget to follow me on instagram because i'm really posting some amazing content over there and uh, don't forget to check out the uh, classes on unacademy all the links are given in the description box below